Homestead Senior Care provides services to the elderly in their own homes to allow them to live independently for longer than would otherwise be possible. So that's a range of services from light housekeeping to personal care, transportation, medication reminders, companionship, um, anything that would allow the, the elderly person to remain living at home independently for longer than they otherwise could. We're all local people. I'm a, I live locally. Um, I have a great local knowledge of the area. Um, I think we all have a collective experience to share with families who are faced with the unknown. Um, and I find when they come in the door, they often sigh, you know, there's a sigh of relief. It's like, oh gosh, they understand. Um, we have the shared experience and we have knowledge from all the training that we have. And I think the knowledge, the local knowledge, the training, the flexibility, the friendly service, the professionalism, I think people are never disappointed. Well, the first thing will probably start with a phone call. You'll phone the office and you may get me directly or you'll get Karen possibly um, or one of the other girls and they'll take some details from you. They'll, possibly, they'll, they'll arrange for me to call you back or call out to see you. Um, but generally it, 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 it follows that I'll phone you, I'll speak to you on the phone and we'll go through the few simple details, the practical details. You'll tell me a little bit about your situation and the situation your family are in and I'll discuss maybe the first meeting with your mum or dad and the family and who might be there and how best to introduce that idea to mum or dad because often there's a bit of reluctance to introduce home care. So I help to settle you on that and to give you the background information. Oftentimes then you'll probably go away and have to speak to the rest of your family about that. And we'll arrange a meeting then, and, but you'll have been, um, I suppose the ice will have been broken, you'll have a better understanding of our service. So then um, we'll go out and we'll have the meeting with your mum or dad, which is very important, in, in the place where they're going to be cared for, so that's probably in their home. Um, and that way I get a better feel for the type of environment our caregiver would be providing care in and uh, get to know a lot, a lot more about your mum and dad. Um, we talk about the service then that your mum and dad might need, mum or dad might need, um, the range of services, when they might like it, the schedule of services, what their likes and dislikes are, and then I try and establish the type of person I think would be most compatible for them, um, and I'll talk to them about that. And then we'll discuss all that, and then I'll come back with a care plan um, and a schedule of hours, and also um, I'll propose a caregiver. Often clients will say that they don't want to have somebody that too, lives too locally to them, um, for confidentiality reasons. So um, I'll come back and I'll introduce the caregiver nonetheless, the person that I think is most compatible. Our caregivers uh, go through a rigorous screening process. They do the telephone screening process first, then they fill out um, an employment application form which is very detailed. Um, and then they'll come in for an interview. Um, two people may be present on the interview. We then um, uh, do rigorous reference checking. Uh, ask the caregivers to attend an information day which is like a second interview process and then we'll, we, we tend to try the caregivers out um, on a few short assignments before we assign them on a long-term basis so we really build up that trust um, and a working relationship with our caregivers. Mm -hmm.